I've made quite a few different accent walls on the channel that are removable, and this one I think is going to be the best one yet. Hello and welcome in to the next installment of the bedroom makeover series. In the last video, we refinished these chairs, built this little table, and we've also gone thrifting and built an entire headboard with a matching bed skirt from scratch. And now we are moving on to probably the video I'm most excited about in the series, and that is creating this 100% renter-friendly accent wall. I'm gonna show you my inspiration photos of what I'm going to create with this one, and that is this half wall with that vertical shiplap look and a little shelf on top where we can style different knickknacks and decorations. So let's transform this boring beige bedroom into something that looks so much better and brings in personal style. And I am really excited to get into this. So let's get started and let's head to pick up all of the materials. I always feel like when I'm bringing in these pieces for these big renter-friendly projects, my neighbors are judging me and wondering what kind of renovations we're doing to our apartment. But hey, we're making this removable and we got the hard part done, which is cutting out these panels. This room's a little bit tricky because we have one window right here that is gonna kind of make this a little bit more work. I do think this project would be a little bit easier if you didn't have a window along the wall that you're doing it on, or maybe if you had two windows, cause then you could just put this detail right in between the windows instead of working around them. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna have to work our way from this corner toward the window to make sure that all of our measurements are correct. So let's do this. <laughs> To attach these panels to the wall, I'm going to use a tried and true favorite, which are command strips. I have always had really good luck with these picture hanging command strips, which are kind of like the Velcro ones that you can push together. I think they work really great for something like this. And one thing that I like to do just to make this a little bit more secure, because we are putting a pretty heavy product up on the wall, is I like to use some hot glue. I always get some comments about this and why I'm doing that. I put the hot glue on the strip that is going to be attaching to this board because I sometimes find that the command adhesive because it is a removable adhesive doesn't really wanna to hold to this kind of MDF type material. So hot glue is just a little extra security to make sure that the panels do not come falling off the wall. One of the things that I find actually do make the command strips work a little bit better and stick up on the wall more long-term is by following the instructions, go figure. Using rubbing alcohol, you rub that in the spot where you're going to placing the command strips up on the wall. They're gonna hold better and they're going to remove better in the long run. Okay, so the command strips are ready to go. Let's see if we can get this first panel up on the wall. I think the first one is gonna be, it's not gonna be the hardest one. I'm not even gonna say that, but it's the step, it's the first step, so let's go.
I am pleased to say that the panels all stayed up on the wall successfully overnight. Now we're on to day two of the project. And yes, I am wearing the exact same pants I had on yesterday, just in a different color. But that's because these are gonna be my new painting pants because I have a goal. We are gonna start painting today. So what I have right here are my shelf boards. I have two different sizes. This is a one by four. That is going to be the top of the shelf. And then I have a one by three. That's going to be the front facing panel of the shelf that's gonna go here. Now I noticed that this is nine foot and nine foot's not gonna fit in my car. So I got six foot boards and we're just gonna have to piece them together. <sighs> Let's piece them together. <laughs> boards pieced together so perfectly. We're gonna want to start the paint process. So in order though to paint and prime them, we're gonna need to protect the existing wall. So for that, we're going to need an extra thick roll of painter's tape. While that primer is on the wall and drying, and let's move on to a different part of this project that I think is going to take it up a notch. When I was looking at inspiration photos for this project, I came across shelves that look like this. They had that brass gallery rail or tipping rail as it's called. And I knew that that's what I wanted to do because it's just a nice little detail that adds just a touch of class. It brings in that antique look that we're going for. However, when I was looking to purchase this material, I found that one, it's either non-existent or two, if you can find the parts to make a brass gallery rail, they are so expensive. And maybe if this was a house and a permanent installation, that would be worth it, but this is a rental. So we're talking about DIY, renter-friendly, and affordable solutions. First up, I picked up these little pegs that have a really cool looking spindle type look. They kind of remind me of like a spindle you would put in a dollhouse if you were doing a dollhouse project. And then also picked up these little round finials. They're super tiny, but the best part is they almost for the most part fit together. Some of them I found fit together, some of them do not. So we're gonna have to work with them a little bit here. I went with this route because I wasn't quite sure how I wanted this project to come together just yet. But I think with the way that I figured it out, you can also purchase just some of these guys right here. I'll link those down below. First up, I'm gonna use my clamps to hold each of these little wood pieces when I'm drilling to make this a lot safer. And then I marked right around where the middle would be on both sides of these and started by using a 1 8 drill bit, add holes on each side, centering it as best as possible with those measurements. As you can see, it should look something like this. After completing that, I then leveled up to a 1 4th drill bit. I marked it with some tape exactly how deep into the finial I was going to go to get the complete look. And I did this on both sides because these are going to be where our dowel channels sit into when we're making this gallery rail. After I completed the drilling on seven posts, you see you can piece them together just like this. They tend to go together and I did end up using my drill just to kind of clear out a little extra wood on some of the smaller ones and then use some hot glue to secure everything together. 
And now to make them look less like wood and more like brass, I'm starting by painting all of the finials and dowels with black paint and letting that dry. The black is the secret to making the next step pop and really have that cool antique brass type look. And in order to make that, I'm gonna be using Rub and Buff. The color that I'm using is Grecian Gold and I just rubbed that on with a foam brush for the little finial pieces and then just went in by hand with the dowels. It just made it so much quicker and easier to paint the dowels instead of going in with a brush. It's a new day and the primer has dried extremely well and now it is time to add the paint color. Now, if you watched my headboard DIY video, then you know that I ask you guys your feedback on what paint color to choose out of these four samples. So honestly, taking in your feedback and hearing what you had to say, I immediately eliminated this one here, which is Urbane Bronze. It's just way too dark and Adaptive Shade, which is kind of green, but I think it just is too gray within this room which left us down to our two popular choices right here. I did a lot of thinking and I liked this kind of tone, this kind of lighter brown tone, but it was just a little too gray. So we're going with neither of these choices. Let me show you the color that we picked. So I have our official paint color right here and I can't wait to show you what we went with. It's really not that different than the colors that we had sampled but there is something about it that made it stand out. And the color we went with is Whiskey Barrel by Bear, and it looks very milk chocolatey, maybe even a little bit lighter, almost caramely right now, but once it dries, it's gonna be this really pretty kind of chocolatey brown color, and we just ultimately decided that the warmer brown tone is gonna look so much nicer in here than some of those cooler taupe type brown shades that we had originally picked out. So I'm so excited to see this up on the wall. Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight Lonely wind is passing by to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk There's no one left but you and me It's like a made-up place that only we can see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream I am loving this color. I like that it has just that subtle warmth that I think the other colors we were looking at were missing. And I don't know, I just am really excited now to see this project finally coming together. Now the next step is to install the shelf that we wanna put above this paneling. So in order to do that, we are gonna have to drill into the wall to make this super secure because command strips are not gonna hold a shelf. Before you click away, personally, I'm fine with putting small screw holes into the wall as long as I patch them up before I leave. If your lease says you can't do this, then my recommendation would be to just take some more command strips and a chair rail that kind of will fold over the edge of this line that the panel created, and it'll finish that right up for the next step. Okay, now we need to see how we need to balance both ends. Wait a minute. How do... That's perfectly level. No, 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 this is not possible. What is like the odds that this is possible? <laughs> I guess we just 
screw in the other sides. board up on the wall. It's another day of tackling this project here. And now we're going to move on to our shelf board. And I've measured it out just to double check the measurement here. Now that it's been cut down and everything, we want to put our pegs on to the board first. Well, we mostly want to figure out the spacing of them first and before we install it up on the wall. Otherwise, it's not going to be a super stable surface to be drilling holes for the pegs. It's just going to be easier to do it this way. I already assembled my first section of the railing off camera just to make sure that my idea works and it seems like this is the perfect way to do it. So this is how I'm doing it. I stuck my little poles in to their little designated spots that we made them. Then I'm gonna take the next one and put it here. Now what we're gonna do is take our dowel rod and then stick it into the end that's already made. I'm gonna mark, mark it just right here. So once I get my dowel to the length that it needs to be, I'm gonna take the end that I'm already starting to work on and I'm going to put a little super glue right in there. And we take our end. And we are on to the home stretch of this project. Now we're just gonna add some trim to cover up some of those harsh lines that is along the shiplap paneling. I'm gonna just use some double-sided tape to do this. We're gonna stick it right onto the paneling, not onto the wall or anywhere like that. I think you could also probably just use hot glue for this portion of the project or just some sort of adhesive that is fast drying that you have on hand. But I think double-sided tape will make this fast and easy. This part here is gonna be hidden by the bed, so we're not gonna put trim there. What do you think of the final result? Is this something that you would try in your own apartment? I love that this looks like a permanent installation when it's actually completely removable. And with a few small tweaks, you can even make this without putting any holes in the wall. I think the before and the after is just so incredible. It takes it from just a boring, plain apartment into something with so much more character and personality. Now, if you wanna see what it's gonna look like with that gaping hole covered up by the bed once that's in place, then you're gonna wanna stay tuned for the full bedroom makeover. That's coming up really soon on the channel. You're gonna wanna make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. Here's the playlist if you wanna catch up on the full bedroom makeover series. And that's everything I have for you in this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.